the first exercise. At the dribble, awal. Tabadal is suhala wal jawaba ma zamilik kama fil mithalain. Tabadal is suhala wal jawaba ma zamilik kama fil mithalain. Exchange the question and the response with your colleague. Kama fil mithalain. As you have in the two illustrations. So here we are given two different illustrations. Al Mithal al Awal, the first example. Talib al Awal, Ain al Mirka. Where is the coat? Talib al Thani. Hada al Mirka. Here is the coat. Ain al Mirka. And the response is. Hada wal So we use Hada and Huwa, which are masculine words, because al is masculine. So that is the first example. al thani The second example, Ayn al Where is the room? Ayn al where is the room? Talib al-Thani. Hadihi iya al-Ghurfa. Hadihi iya al-Ghurfa. Here is the room. Or oh, this is the room. Okay? Now we use hadihi. We use here. Because al-Ghurfa too is feminine. So you can note the difference. Ayn al Hada wal mistof. Where is the coat? This is the coat. Ain al gurfa. Where is the room? Hadihi hi al gurfa. This is the room. So the two uh, sentences could be translated in the same way. This is the coat. This is the room. But one is masculine. The other one is feminine. So that is where it's going to be different in Arabic language. Because Arabic language is very much uh, conscious of that. The gender. So this is where we need to be very careful in this uh, particular exercise. So we are going, we are given other variables, inshallah, which we are going to uh, see if it's going to be masculine or feminine so that we know what to use. We have Ibn, we have Ibn. We all know that Ibn is masculine, son, it's masculine. We have Musalla. Musalla is masculine. Masjid. Masjid is masculine. Hammam. Hammam is masculine. Then we have other variables. Surah. So Surah is feminine. Shajara. Shajara is feminine. Nadhara. Nadhara is feminine. Then Ibna. Ibna. Ibna is also Feminine. So now we have four masculine at the top. Then we have four feminine under it. Now let us apply the question and the response here. Uh, among the volunteers, I want to. I'll be asking questions regarding the pictures that we have. So the first one is going to be Aina Libnu. Ayn al ibn. Where is the sun? So I want somebody to respond to that. Is it going to be Haza or Hazihi? Ayn al ibn. Haza al ibn. Haza al ibn. 
اها نوت هو علي ابن هو الابن هو الابن هذا هو الابن let another person respond to Musalla. Aina al Musalla. Aina al Musalla. Hada huwa hada al Musal. Hada huwa al Musal. Well, hada huwa al Musalla. You know we. I think we explained that yesterday during the question and answer session when somebody said, "Why who are again?" So that is what will make it a complete sentence. So if you say, Hada musalla, Hada al musalla, so that will, that's not a complete sentence. Hada huwa al musalla. So this is the musalla. Ain al masjid. Ain al masjid. Hada huwa al masjid. Hada huwa al هذا هو المسجد هذا هو المسجد أين الحمام هذا هذا هو الحمام هذا هو الحمام أين الصورة أين الصورة هذه هي هذه هي الصورة ممتاز هذه هي الصورة أين الشجرة؟ هذه هي الشجرة أين النظارة؟ هذه هي النظارة ممتاز Let's take that again أين النظارة؟ هذه هي النظارة so, because I could, I could discover that some of us don't realize that we need to add Alif Walam to it. If you look at the examples given to us, so you'll have to add Alif Walam to these variables. Anavoro. Azihi Iyanavoro. And the last one, Aina Libna. So don't say Iya Ali Ibna because the, the word is starting with Amsa to Wasl. So and Whenever anything is coming before it, you will have to remove Amsa to Wasla as if it's not there. Then you had what is coming with the next letter after uh, Amsa to Wasla, which is Ba. Hiya Libna. Hiya Libna. Hiya Libna. Hiya Libna. Hiya Libna. Now at the drip of Thani, Tabadal is Suala will Jawaba Mazemele come up in Methalain. Exchange the question and the response with your colleague, come up in Methalain. So we are given another two examples here as well. So one is masculine and the other one is feminine. Al Methalul Awal, the first illustration or the first example, Aina Saeed. Where is Saeed? Saeedun fil ghurfati yaqrahu al-Qur'an. Saeedun fil ghurfati yaqrahu al-Qur'an. Saeed is in the room reading the Qur'an. Al-Mithal al-Thani. The second illustration. Aina Saeed. Where is Saeed? سعيدة في الغرفة تقرأ القرآن. سعيد في الغرفة تقرأ القرآن. سعيدة is in the room reading Quran. The previous one we said سعيد في الغرفة يقرأ القرآن. And for feminine سعيدة 
So if you look at the two sentences, the only difference you have there is with the verb yakorau and takorahu. So if you remember, I mentioned this yesterday. So ya will represent masculine, ta represents feminine, hamza represents a, a first person singular, and noon represents a first person a plural. So if you remember that. So here we have two out of it. I, I, I told us that we have four letters representing Modoria. Four letters representing Modoria. And they were joined together under the word Anei Tu. Hamza, Nun, Yao, and Ta. So here we have Yao and Ta. Yakura ul Quran, Takura ul Quran. So we can as well say Akra ul Quran, which means first person singular. I'm reading the Quran. Akra ul Quran. I'm reading the Quran. Then we can use Nun, Nakra ul Quran. We are reading the Quran. So these are the four letters. These are the four letters that represent uh, Modoria at its present tense or present continuous tense or future tense. Now, let's check what we have here. If you look at the first example, we have four words. Sa'idun, al -gurfatu. We have Yaqra al-Qur'an. So, we had it some things, especially the uh, harf fi, to make it a complete sentence in the illustration. If you look at it very well, Sa'idun fil gurfati. That fi is not in the picture, but after we added it together, it gave us a complete sentence. Sa'idun fil gurfati yakrahul Qur'an. And if you look at the second one I, again, Sa'idatun al Gurfa Takrahul Quran. So it is only when we had feet to hit that make it a complete sentence. Sa'idatun fil Gurfati Takrahul Quran. Now let's look at other pictures that we have there. You have Salih, Salih. You have Al Masjid. Then you have Yusolli. Are you there? Salih. No. Al Masjid, you suddenly. So, to make it a complete sentence, so we are going to hide the word again, just like we did in the illustration. We had fi. Salihun fil masjidi, you suddenly. Salihun fil masjidi, you suddenly. So, that's one thing we need to note here. So, the word fi, when you had, when it's, it, it, it comes before uh, a noun, it gives that noun kesro. So that is why you have masjidi after coming after fi. Salihun fil masjidi yusalli. Note that ya coming before solli. That tells us that the subject in this uh, sentence is masculine, solely. So if it is feminine, then it's not going to be you solely again. So I want us to take note of that. Solely, al masjid, you solely. So you say, solely hun fil masjidi, you solely. Solely is in the masjid, observing salah. So if you look at the second one, you have Saliha. Saliha. This is feminine. Salihatun fil musalla to salli. It's not going to be you salli again. So this is grammar. 
So it's not going to be usually again because this is feminine. Unlike soli, which is masculine. Soli hatun fil musalla to soli. So I want to believe we are getting the point. Now you have Sharif al Hammam yatawadda. This is another mudari here. Yao coming before tawadda makes us to realize that this is masculine. Even if the name is not written. Sharif fil Hammami yatawadda. Sharif is in the washroom or in the bathroom of uh, performing ablution. Sharif Atun, that is feminine. Sharif Atun fil bait, tatawadda. Sharifa is in the house performing ablution. So when it comes to feminine, that tatawadda. So this time around, it's not yatawadda, like that of the masculine. Now, I want us to read the four now. Salih, Saliha, Sharif, and Sharifa. Bismillah. Salih. Your mic is on mute and if your hand is up so you can read. Salihun fil. Let's read now. Salihun fil masjid yusalli. Salihun fil masjid yusalli. Now Saliha. Salihatun. Fil musalli to salli. Fil musalla. Fil musalla. Salihatun fil musalla to salli. Salihatun fil musalla to salli. Now, Sharif. Sharifun fil hammami yatawadda. Yatawadda. Sharifun fil bayti. Sharifa, 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 who is this? Manhada. Who is this? Hada walidi Adnan huwa muhandis. This is my father, Adnan. He is an engineer. Now we have other variables that I want to use here. We have Ammu. If you remember Ammu, the plural is Amam. Ammu. The plural is amam. Jaddu. The plural is ajdad. Akh. The plural is ikhwa or ikhwan. We have sadiq. The plural is asdiqa'u. So these are the variables we are having. So who can try that of Ammu? Who can try? Okay, yes, number sir. number four six one. Number four six one. Yes, sir. Number zero four six one. It's not there. Okay, Mustafa. Five, yes, seven, sir. Five. Go ahead. Um. Manhada. 
سبحان من هذا هذا عم عمر look at the example very well من هذا هذا والد عدنان والدي 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 and what you know if you, if you look at what you have in that picture you have only walid but here you have hadha walidi not hadha walid hadha walidi adnan no 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 just, just apply just apply that to the uh next variable we have which is am man hadha Hada walidi Adnan. No, no, no. Leave the illustration. I said Ammu, Ammu. Oh. Man Hada. Hada Ammu Umar. You are not getting it. You are not getting it. Let me put you through. I thought you would get it even without my explanation. Ammu. You are going to have Yahoo Nisba, just like what you have in the illustration. When you have Walid in the illustration, but when the response is coming, it's Walidi, my father. So this one is going to be my uncle as well. Ammi. Man hadha, hadha ammi, Umar, who am I that race? So that's what is expected of you. Umar, mm -hmm. who am I that race? Who am I that race? So that means you, ha you added two things to it. Yahu Nisba and uh, Huwa. Hada Ammi Umar Huwa Mudarris. This is my uncle Umar. He is a teacher. Now let uh, another person answer the second one, Jad. Number 019. Number 019. Ma من هذا هذا جدي هذا جدي سالم هو الطبيب ممتاز هذا جدي سالم هو الطبيب هذا جدي سالم هو الطبيب نمبر نمبر من هذا من هذا هذا أخي صالح هو الطالب هذا أخي الصالح هو الطالب ممتاز ممتاز and the last one عبد الرحمن تونجي من هذا you can speak louder Abdul Rahman, Ada Sodiki Ali 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 Ua Mualim, Mashallah Ada Sodiki Ali Ua Mualim Barkallah Fikum At a dribble Rabia How will Kama film a How will Kama film a do you remember Tahwil? Do you remember the word Tahwil? From Hawala. Hawala, you Hawilu. Hello? Change. Let's change. Hello? I hope you are listening to me. No, no. Okay. So here we are expected to at the dribble robber, at the dribble robber. How will come up in Mithal? If you look at the example we have here, 
So we are expected to do the same thing, the same tawil. Hada walidi adnan. You know, you only have walid adnan. You have only walid adnan. So the tawil we did here, the hada walidi, we change it to walidi. Mm. With Yahud Nisba, that this is my father, Adnan. Now we are going to do Tawil to third person. Third person. So this is first person, Hadha Walidi Adnan. This is my father, Adnan. Now we want to do Tawil to third person. So that is what is expected of us. So it's going to be Hadha Walidu, who this is his father, Adnan. Not my father again. Adnan. Not my father again. So we transform it from uh, first person to third person. Hada walidi Adnan. That is first person. This is my father, Adnan. Now we are changing it to, we are transforming it to third person. Hada walidu who, this is his father, Adnan. I think that is clear. Clear. Yeah. Now let, let's let's go for Walida, Walida Khadija. So the first one will be what? The first person will be Hadihi Walidati Khadija. This is my mother Khadija. Hadihi Walidati Khadija. This is my mother Khadija. Now, if we want to transform it to third person, so it's going to be Avihi Walidatu Hu Khadija. This is our mother Khadija. Is that clear? Are you with me? Yes. Avihi Walidatu Hu. Khadija. <clears throat> and if you want to change it to our mother, Hadihi Wali to her Khadija. Now let somebody try Ukht Salma. Create the first person, then you transform it to third person. Uh let me call somebody to do that. Number zero three eight eight zero three eight eight zero three eight eight. Not there. Are you there? Hadihi Ukti Salma. Hadihi Ukti Salma. So that is first person. If you transform it to third person, so what do you have? Hadihi Uktuhu Salma. Hadihi Uktuhu Salma. This is his sister Salma. Mumtaza. Barakallah fiqh. Ibn Ali, Ibn Ali, uh, 019, 019. Ali, You really tried? You really tried, but uh, in your in your pronunciation, in your pronunciation, you can do better. I just said this morning that we need to be conscious of Hamza to Wassel. So we need to be conscious of Hamza to Wassel. Can you try again? Can you try again? 
Yes. Ah, ah, za, ah, no. You are not having Halif for alarm two days. You are not having Halif for alarm two days. Just you have a list of. Aza ibni Ali. Aza ibni. Aza ibni. Aza ibni. Aza ibni Ali. Aza ibni. Aza ibni. Just had Yahoo Nisba. Aza ibni Ali. Aza ibni Ali. Mumtaz. Now, if you want to transform it to third person. Azabnihu, Azabnihu Ali. Mashallah, Barakallah Fik. Barakallah Fik. Amma, Amma Aisha. Amma Aisha. Let uh, 0665 try that. Aza Ami. Aisha. Look at it very well. Azihi Ami Aisha. Azihi Amati Aisha. Azihi Amati Aisha. This is my aunt Aisha. Aisha. Now, if you transform it to a third person, what do you have? Azihi Amatu. Aisha. MashaAllah, Barakallah, Fik. Aadihi Hammatuhu, Aisha. Now, let's quickly move to Mulakhosu uh, Tarakib. So, this is the summary of all what we have encountered in the grammatical structure in this particular uh, unit. Mulakhosu Tarakib. I told us the last time that Mulakhos is like a summary. Summary. So mulakhos is a summary. And the plural is mulakhosot. Jamu ma'ana salim. Mulakhosot. Summaries. Mulakhosot. So the summary of all the structures that we have encountered is what we have here. So if you look at the first box, you have aina, aina, and you have some variables in front of it. Aina al meritof. Where is the coat? Aina nadvara. Where is the glasses? Aina saeed. Where is saeed? Aina saeeda. Where is saeeda? If you look at these four variables. What we get is that we can use aina for non-living things. We can use aina for living things. We can use aina for masculine. We use aina for feminine. We use, you, you can see, you can see it there. So mate of is masculine, but non-living things. Said is masculine, but living things. Navarro is feminine but non-living, then you have Sa'ida, which is also feminine, but living things. So that is telling us that the word Aina, you can use it to ask questions regarding anything at all, be it living being or not. So be it masculine or feminine. I think we understand. Aina al-Maktaf, Aina al Aina Sa'id, Aina Sa'ida. Look at the second box. Man. So we use this as well to answer question. But we use this only to ask about humans. About human being. Man hada, who is this? Man hadihi, who is this? Man anta, who are you? Man anti, who are you? Man huwa, who is he? Who is he? Man here, who is she? So we use man to query humans alone, not even other living things. Look at the third box. The third box, you have huwa yatawaddo. 
huwa yusalli huwa yakra so you can say that huwa is a third person pronoun which is masculine now you are having yatawadda so that means ya has to do with what masculine you solely that ya telling us this is masculine yakra that ya telling us this is masculine but look at the second one hiya hiya tatawadda hiya tusalli hiya takra that ta is for feminine third person feminine here she here she here tatawadda she is performing ablution here to solli she is observing solar. He attacked her. She is reading. So we should be able to differentiate the two. Then we have the fourth box. Saeed. Saeeda. Saeedun fil masjid. Saeedun fil musalla. Saeedun likewise Saida is going to be the same thing so nothing is going to change Saida tun fil masjid Saida tun fil musalla Saida tun fil gurfa Saida tun fil hammam the fifth box you have hadha for masculine hadhihi for feminine hadha huwa hadhihi hiya so you cannot say hadha hiya. That is masculine with feminine. And that concord is not correct in Arabic. Likewise, you cannot say hadhihi huwa. No. Hadha, masculine, huwa, masculine. Then you go ahead with the next masculine. Hadha huwa al mi'tof. Hadha huwa al masjid. Hadha huwa al musalla. But hadhihi. Hiya and Navarro. So Navarro is also feminine. Hadihi feminine. Hiya feminine. Navarro feminine. So that is Arabic concord. Hadihi hiya al muhandisa. Hadihi hiya al muhandisa. So this is an engineer, a female engineer. Hadihi hiya tobiba. This is a female medical doctor. Box seven. Huwa Tabib. He is a doctor, a male doctor. That is why you say Huwa. So you cannot say Huwa Tabiba. Masculine with feminine. Huwa Tabib. Huwa Mudarris. Huwa Muhandis. Huwa Talib. Then you have here. Here Tabiba. Here Mudarrisa. Here Muhandisa. Here Taliba. I think I've jumped uh, box number six. Are you aware of that? Is that right? So let's go back to box number six. I've jumped it. Where you have Hadha and Hadhihi. Hadha is masculine. So whatever comes after it is going to be masculine. Hadha Walidi Omar. Hada waliduhu Ammar. Hada jaddi Ammar. Hada jadduhu Ammar. Hada ammi Ammar. Hada ammuhu Ammar. Hadihi is feminine, and what comes after it is going to be feminine. Hadihi walidati Amina. Hadihi walidatuhu Amina. Hadihi jaddati amina. Hadihi ijaddatuhu amina. Hadihi ammati amina. Hadihi ammatuhu amina. So inshallah, if you look at it, you discover that these are all what we have come across on the Tarakibu uh, Nahwiya. So we are going to briefly look at 
as what and the letter we are considering here is ain just like what i said at the beginning of this unit that ain is uh, the letter they want us to watch out for and that is why you are saying all those names amar umar abla and the rest so because they want us to be conversant with the letter ain so let's quickly go to the terrible awal you listen so you look at it so you say after me ammar okay let's start from umar i want to believe some of us are ready to read after me number 050 number 050 so you can try number 070 so you can as well read after me Number four nine three, four nine three, and this uh, techno come on, so you can read. You read after me if that is your name and your number. Omar, 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 Amar, Amar, Alaykum, Alaykum, Abdullah, Abdullah. 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 Before leaving that place, let me quickly uh, call our attention to something. Uh, Ismullah, Ismu Jalala, Allah. The way we used to pronounce it, especially the non native speakers, so I think I need to talk about that briefly, though we are not having that time today. When you, anytime you have Ismu Jalala, Allah. If any word is not coming after it, you know, you are pronouncing that Hamza. You are pronouncing Hamza to Waslu as if it takes part her. That is why you have a, ah, a ah, at the beginning. So he said, Allah, Allah. So we, anytime part her or Dhamma is coming before his Mujalala. Anytime part her or Dhamma is coming before Ismu Jalala. So the lamb at the middle is going to be pronounced law. 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 Allah. Abdullah. Because Doma is coming before it like that. Abdullah. Law. But anytime Kesra is coming before yeah. it, is that lamb is going to be pro pronounced La. Bismillah. Not Bismillah. Bismillah. Lillahi. Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi la'am. Wallahi. Wallahi. Tallahi. Thumma billahi. Not billahi. So I want us to get it right. Anytime Dhamma or Fatha is coming before Ismu Jalala, so that land will pronounce the law. But anytime Kesra is coming before it, it's going to be pronounced La. So let's take that. Abdullah. Abdullah. Al Abbas. Al Abbas. Al Abbas. Al Abbas. Al Abbas. Ammu. Ammu. Sad. Sad. After the rebel thani, we want to differentiate Ain with Amza in our pronunciation. Alim. 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 Then with Amza, that will be Alim. 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 So, so there are two different things entirely. So and that is why we cannot afford to make any mistake there. Alim is the one who knows. The one who knows. He knows about everything. And that is one of a last name, Al Alim. But Alim, Alim is severe, like severe punishment. Alim. So how, 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 will you, how will you compare that? So simply because of 
pronunciation. Rule. If you make any mistake, yeah, so it's going to be a grievous one. Atat. 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 Arduha. 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 Look at look at the difference. Just like the difference between the heaven and the heart. Ardu means it's length. It's length. Why Ardu means land? So it's length, it's land. They are two different things, far apart. Asir. 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 Atau. 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 Alam. 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 Now let's quickly go through this Quran. Let's quickly go through this Quran. I told us that. Uh, we might not be going through all this, but at this initial stage, so, so that we can get some of these things, we are very much concerned with the conversation in this book. But at this initial stage, I think, well, we need to get some of these things right. No one is reading. Just, just be conscious of Ain. <clears throat> be conscious of, of Ain in these Quranic verses. in <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> قال ربي اوزعني ان اشكر نعمتك التي انعمت علي وعلى والدي
ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين لكم دينكم ولي دين Now we are moving to Al Kalam. We are moving straight to Al Kalam. Sofha Thalatha Warbaun. Sofha Thalatha Warbaun. Page 43. At the dribble Awal. Tabada Lis Suhala will Jawaba Mahazamele come up in Mesa. We are not having anything new here. So they just want us to exchange the question and answer among ourselves. Aina Ahmed, where is Ahmed? Ahmed fil masjid yusalli. Ahmed is in the mosque observing salah. Okay. We have Fatima Musalla to Salli. We have Badr. Al Bayt Yatawatta. We have Zainab Al Gorfa Takrah al Quran. We have Adil Al Masjid Yakrah al Quran. So I think we should be able to do that. Uh, I will just be calling, I'll be calling us one after the other to answer or respond to all this. Uh, I'm deliberately calling some people that are not raising their hands. Okay. Let me call Talat uh, Muhammad. Talat Muhammad. Fatima. Aina Fatima. Talahat Muhammad, Aina Fatima. Fatima, Fil Masjid. Fatima, to Sully. Fatima, Fil Masjid, to Sully. Fatima, to Fil Masjid. Do you have Masjid there? No. You have Fatima, Fil Masjid. Fatima, to Fil Masjid. Fil Masjid. To Sully. Not masjid. Oh, Look Fatima fil musalla. Fatima fil musalla to salli. Now, there is one other thing I want you to take note, Amala Muhammad. There's another thing okay. I want you to take note there. No. Fatima. Stop. I said Fatima because I'm stopping on that name. But you, you are not stopping. Okay. You want to add another thing to it. Okay. So it is imperative that you complete the Fatima to Fatima to fil musalla to salli Can you take that again Fatima to fil musalla to salli Barakallahu fikum Malam Farooq Abu Bakr Malam Farooq Abu Bakr <coughs> Can you try the second one? Badr al bayt yatawadda. Aina Badr. Malam Farooq, can you kindly raise your voice? Your mic is unmuted. We can hear you. Malam Farouk, are you there? Wa alaikum as Okay. Aina Badr. 
بادر في البيت يتوضع بارك الله فيك باد بادر في البيت يتوضع يتوضع Now let's move to the next one. Let's move to next one. Number 0312. 0312. Your mic is unmuted. Aina Zainab. Aina Zainab. Zero three one two. Are you there? Okay. Zero four six two. Lawal Hassan. Zero four six two. Aina Zainab. 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 Fil gur fatil takrawul Quran. Zainab. Fil gur fatil takrawul Quran. Barak Allah fiq. The last mm -hmm. one, Adil. Adil, Al Masjid, Yakrahul Quran. So let's hear from 0475. 0475. Your mic is unmuted. 0475. Aina Adil. I I managed to hear Adil fil Masjid. Uh huh. Go on. Then you raise your voice. I can't hear you again. I can't hear you. Okay, let's uh, zero four six nine. Can you can you try that? Zero four six nine. Your mic is unmuted. Yeah. Aina um, Adil. Adil fil masjid yakro al Quran. Barakallahu fiq. Adil fil Amin. masjid yakro al Quran. At the Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm having just one minute. But you remember I gave you my 10 minutes yesterday? I gave you my 10 minutes day before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to take two minutes out of it. Al-Mithal. Al-Mithal al-awwal. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as-salam. Ma hazihi. Ma hazihi. What is this? You remember ma? We use it to ask question. Ma, which means what? Ma hazihi. What is this? This is the picture of my brother, Uwa Mohandes. He is an engineer. If you look at that picture, you have Akh, you have uh, Mohandes. So this is a long uh, conversation. So you have more than uh, one response here. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as salam. Ma hadihi. What is this? Hadihi surah to Akhi. This is the picture of my brother. Or oh, this is my brother's picture. Uwa Mohandis is an engineer. MashaAllah. Now we have Ukht Tobiba. So the only thing you need to have to hit to differentiate it from what we have been doing is uh, Teslim. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as salam. Ma hadihi. Adihi surah to Ukhti. So this is the picture of yeah. my. Surah to Ukhti, the picture of my sister or my sister's picture. Hiya Tobiba, she is a doctor. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as salam. Ma hadihi. What is this? We are using hadihi because we are talking of surah, which is feminine. We are talking of picture. Ma hadihi. What is this? We didn't say man hadihi. Because if we say man adhi, we are asking about the person. I said man is to ask about human beings. What? Why ma is for non-living? Mm -hmm. Though sometimes, in, 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 that is in the grammar, but in Islamic Sharia, we use ma for human as well. I think we've read it today. 
Man. We pray it today. You might not be conscious of it, but Islamic Sharia, we use ma for human beings. And you can see that in Surah Al-Kafirun that we just recited, recited today. Okay. When the Prophet Sallallahu told the unbelievers, antum habiduna ma ahbudu. You are not going to be worshipping what I'm worshipping. The Prophet said, ma abudu, what I'm worshipping. So what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi uh, worship is living, living things. Why? What they are worship? Thing or non-living things. Definitely living things. And we use ma for it. So the people of Sharia will tell you that we can use ma for human beings. But the people of the, the grammarians will tell you, no, ma is for non-living. Why man is for living? And when there, whenever there is clash between the grammarians and the people of Sharia, we tend towards the people of Sharia. Okay? But here we are talking of grammar, only grammar. So that is why we want to say that ma is for non-living, why man is for uh, living things. Now you have uh, you have homework. So please let us endeavor to try it. We have homework. So if we can try it, it is for our benefit, inshallah ta'ala. So we are going to try Tadribu Thani. I mean Tadribu Thalif. Tadribu Thalif. Tadribu Rabia. That is on page 44. Tadribu Thalif. Tadribu Rabia. Tadribu Khamis. Tadribu Khamis. Okay. And the last one, just like the one I gave us last week, we are going to respond to all these questions. Ajib Anil Ashilat Taliya respond to the following uh, questions. Man Walidur Rasul. Who is the Prophet's father? Man Walidatur Rasul. Who is the Prophet's mother? Man Jaddur Rasul. Who is the Messenger's grandfather? Man Ammur Rasul. Who is the uh, Messenger's uncle? Man ibn Rasul, who is the prophet or the messenger's son? So all these questions on Tadribu Sadis, uh, so we are expected to respond to them. Okay? So that means we are having pages 44, pages 45 to respond to. And the last one, which we are going to complete before the next class, is... Tadribu uh, Athani on page 46. Tadribu Athani on page 46. Okay. Sil Baina Kulli Kalimataini Al Mutato Bikotaini. Are you there? Yes, you have yakra, that's the example given. Yakra. So you look at the other side. If you see anything that related to it, if you see anything that related to it, so you join it together. So you have yakra here on number five, which is on Hamza on the other hand. So you join them together. So want to see if you can get the related uh, words. Mutatobiko. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assist us and increase us in knowledge. Uh, we, uh, we, we are done with this today, inshallah, and this is exactly where we are going to continue in the next class. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabi wa sallam wa taslima kathira wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Jazakum khairan. quick one, uh, don't forget to uh, fill up the attendance. And at the same time, uh, if you have a question, I will just take a few questions because we are late already. So, um, sorry for that if I cannot attend, if you cannot attend to your questions.
inshallah till next class which is next week um friday so if you have question now you can raise your hand then i can give you the mic okay zero eight three three zero three eight eight go ahead Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Uh, may Allah bless our Ustaz for us. I'm your auntie. You mentioned in the class that uh, uh, they are in English language, we don't use he or she, we don't use object or woman or object. But in Arabia, we are using he ya for, for Nazoro, the glasses. Why are we using human being verbs for non-living things? That is why I want to ask the question. Because in English language, we don't use human being verbs for non-living things. We use it for all of them. It was three house or everything. We use it, I-T-S. But why are we using human being verbs for non-living things? That's my question in Arabic. Now, thank you very much. You are welcome. Uh, we, that's this sentiment. Because you understand English language, so you want to change Arabic to English as well? No. So the Arabs, they have their own ways of using these uh, pronouns. So they have their own ways of using these pronouns. So we, the, the, this here also means it in Arabic language. So they use it as it as well. And they use it as uh, she, okay? So that is how Arabs use their own, their own, not English. Okay, so this is not just translation, but we need to consider how the native speakers, they use their own words. Though we understand some other languages, but difference, uh, difference is always there. So we need to take cognizance of that. So in Arabic language, they use here for she, they use here for it. Okay. Likewise, who uh, they use it as and they use it as it. So depending on uh what we are talking about, okay. So it's okay. it living or non-living. Okay, and then secondly, how are we going to differentiate those uh objects that you are going to use masculine or feminine for? Do you know no, they are not no, even no, so I how are we going to differentiate them? Fine. The, the Arabs, so they have their own way of identification as well. So we use, that one is non-negotiable. For human beings, you know masculine, you know feminine. For non-living things, they also have their own way of recognizing masculine and feminine, which we have been talking about it right from uh, last week. Like Evan, for instance, you say Sama, as Sama. Samahu, is it masculine or feminine? It's masculine. How do you know it's masculine? Samahu, because the, the Amza, the, the Amza. Because it ends with Amza, it's not having time or buto. Then you are but, wrong. What of Shamsu? A Shamsu. <laughs> uh, that is why I asked that. How are we going to differentiate between. Yeah, that, yes, because we. There are some of these words, that's why I'm talking about some of these assumptions now. So there are some of these words that you cannot really tell, except you know that, okay, this is how Arabs use their own. Shamsu, for instance, is feminine. And there's nothing that can indicate that this is feminine. Ardu is feminine. There's nothing to ind indicate that this is, it is it's not having Tamar Buta, it's not having uh, Alif Maksura, so or Mamduda. So there's no way you can tell. So, but you only know that this is how they use it in Arabic language. So there's nothing to indicate it. But in their words, you see, this is how they are using it. Allah says, wa shamsi wa ha. He's talking about shams and he said ha. You know, ha is definitely for feminine. From there, you know that shamsu is feminine. I think you understand. 
Komaru. There's nothing to show that Komaru is, uh, is feminine, but Allah used her for it. Her is feminine. So we, from there, we know that Komaru is feminine. So that is how we recognize some of the wives that are not recognizable with any sign. Barakallahu feek. Jazakumullah khaira, Sheikh Kareem. Uh, we have one question here. It says, uh, Sheikh, you said when fee comes before a now, the last haraka should be kesoro. Why is it not in the case of musalli? Musalli? Like, um, musalli. Okay, fil, fil musalla. So she's talking about Musolla. I want to believe. No. Musolla, Musolla is taking Kesro in that sentence. Fil Musolla is taking Kesro. But there is no way that Kesro can show on that Alif. You know, that is Halif, not Ya. Musolla. So on that Alif, Alif cannot take any Haraka. Alif is one of the uh, weak letters. We have three weak letters, Alif, Yao, and Wow. So they are weak letters. And you know, when somebody is weak already, you cannot even load anything on the person. So these letters are weak, so they cannot carry Fatiha, Kesra, and Duma. So that is why you cannot see that Kesra on it. Even if it is Fatiha, you cannot see it. Even if it is Kesra, you, if, if it is Duma, you cannot see it. So because it is Alif. Alif cannot carry any of the haraka. So you only know that it is having kesro, fil musolla. You know it in your in your brain that after that fi musolla is majururo. So now does that, that kelima that kelima is majururo? Wallahu alam. Shukran Sheikh. Uh, another one is we are are we going to submit the assignment? If yes, how? Uh, well, uh, I'm only imploring us to try our best to do the assignment. And uh, it will help us a lot, even if we are not submitting. Though I've, I've been thinking of the same thing, that even if people are going to submit, more than 200 people, how are we going to mark? How are we going to get through this? But there are some of the assignments that we'll have to submit one day. I will ask us to submit and we'll see how we are going to submit it, inshallah ta'ala. So maybe I will create, uh, I will create um, probably uh, an address for people to submit this assignment. Then not this particular one, not this particular one. I only want us to do this. But inshallah, maybe on one of our Google uh, class, so we can give people uh, the address to submit, but not this particular one. So let's see, probably in the next uh, the next class, inshallah. Ta'ala. Now, Mustafa Ibrahim, your question? Bismillah, Malam Mustafa Ibrahim. You are muted. 0216. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. I have become and I have asked him how I can register my attendance. That network is bad. We can't hear you properly. Can you put it on the chat because that network is bad? Uh, 0216. Go ahead. Hello, can you hear me, please? No, yes, we can hear you. Uh, my question is now. That, that network as well. Uh, that network as well. Uh, put it on the chat, and inshallah, if she did not attend to your question this week, inshallah, Rahman, next week is still there for us, and uh, we are going to attend to your question. Don't forget to put down your attendance and you have assignment which is self, self uh, study. Let's try as much as possible to practice on our own. And uh, inshallah, we have to stop now because of time. 
wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbati ajma'in subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdik wa nashhadu ala ilaha illa ant wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh